Hi, my name is Shani Ferguson and I'm here in Jerusalem. I want to tell you a story about a friend of mine. We was in an abusive relationship. She was married to this man. There was domestic violence involved and one evening he takes her, he throws her up against the wall and continues to beat her. In the morning, she decides she's had it and she goes to have a conversation with him. She says, you know, I can't live like this anymore. It's not healthy for me and I want out. And he looks at her and he says, why? And she says, because last night I realized you have a serious problem and my life is in danger. And he looked at her and he said, what are you talking about? You did that to me. And she understood in this moment that his level of psychosis was so far gone that there was no hope to restore their relationship. I'm telling you this because on a grand scale, this is what's happening in the war between Israel and Hamas. On October 7th, there were horrendous things that happened that I can't even describe to you because they're so terrible that I would have to put warnings and even then I would feel uncomfortable having to repeat them. And yet the conversation that's being had in the media right now is twofold. First of all, Hamas, which actually filmed these atrocities because they were so proud of them and streamed them live and published them to the people that they know would also be proud of them. Their goal was to shame Jews, not just murder, not just torture, but to shame them in the Middle East. When that part of the mission was completed, Hamas then went to the West and said, actually, we didn't hurt any civilians at all. And then they went to other parts of the West and they said, you know what? It was actually Israel that did it to their own people. This level of psychosis where you can do something that is beyond anyone's imagination of horror movie they ever saw, and then go and say, actually, it didn't happen at all. And then go again and say, actually, it did happen, but Israel did it to itself is so is so psychotic it's hard to even have a conversation with anyone with siding with these types of people i encourage you to consider regardless of your political standing whether you would like this type of person living next door to you because their goal is to accomplish around the world what they're doing right now in israel until next time i'm shitty ferguson Thank <laughs> you.